Hello and welcome to Scatterful TV and today let's talk briefly about the future of AMD. Now we all remember the release of the GTX 1080 Ti for 700 bucks which was supposed to be the next and greatest card from Nvidia and then shortly thereafter Nvidia gives all of us gamers a huge slap in the face and comes out with a $1200 Titan XP for 2017. Now in my opinion that sounds a little bit like Nvidia may be flexing their GPU market power maybe just a little bit too much nowadays and they could be doing the same thing with the upcoming Nvidia Volta lineup either releasing in early 2018 or a soon and potential September or August release date this year. Now the twist is is that AMD is going to be of course releasing their Vega lineup of GPUs this summer which I'll be calling Vega 1.0 because in 2018 AMD is also going to be releasing the Vega 2.0 lineup of GPUs which are specifically designed to take on Volta. However that could either be great news or terrible news for AMD depending on when Nvidia wants to launch the gun on Nvidia Volta. But it's been a while since AMD released their last high-end graphics card, that being the R9 Fury X for 650 bucks in 2015 of June. And like with all these high-end AMD graphics cards that have been coming out from 2015 to 2013, they've been labeled as Titan Killers. I've got the R9 Fury X targeted right at the 980 Ti and Titan at the time, and the 290X, which was especially labeled as the Titan killer to get, and yet those graphics cards missed their mark for completely establishing themselves as the high-end graphics cards to get. And actually, the last time an AMD graphics card was the king of the GPU market was back in 2010 with the ATI Radon 5970 versus the GTX 480. So it's been a while since AMD was officially labeled as the king of the high-end GPU market. But it looks like, yet again, AMD is taking a shot at that title once more with the AMT Vega lineup. But there's a problem, because that's a really risky move if you look at the NVIDIA Volta lineup coming up soon. So because of that, right now, let's look at the specifications between Volta and Vega from what we have so far. So for Vega, we're going to be using the Vega Frontier Edition card, which is labeled as the Titan XP Killer for 2017. And that card, which for an unknown price, boasts 4,096 stream processors, 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, and 21 billion transistors. And compared to the specs that we have for NVIDIA Volta, which we'll be using the Telsa V100 for, that card boasts 5,120 CUDA cores, 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, and 21 billion transistors. Now, in terms of speculation, I want to say that the memory on both of these high-end cards are going to be the same since they're both 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory and there's no sort of difference that I see so far. However, it can be shown that I'm pretty sure that Nvidia's Volta lineup is probably going to have more processing cores than AMD's Vega 1.0 lineup. Since from what we've seen from the lineup of what Vega has to offer, the Vega 2.0 series is supposed to target Volta. And the Vega 1.0 series was supposed to target Pascal originally, but it's kind of moved on into its own space since it has a later release date. So just from raw speculation and the history between AMD and Nvidia for high-end cards, I want to say Volta is probably going to have the upper hand in terms of performance versus Vega 1.0, which we'll be releasing this summer. So I see two possible scenarios coming out of this GPU battle. Scenario number one is that right after the Vega 1.0 release, Nvidia springs on a quick Nvidia Volta release with the GTX 2000 series, and I'll probably say, I don't want to say demolish, but perform better than the Vega 1.0 series. Or scenario number two, which is that Nvidia takes their time and releases the cards in 2018 to combat Vega 2.0 at the same time. Now, what do you think I think is going to happen? I want to say realistically, Option number two is probably going to happen because from what we've seen so far, Nvidia has only showed us a prototype Telsa V100 and compared to last year, Nvidia was already showing off their GTX 1080 and 1070 in action and right now we haven't gotten like any leaks over the GTX 2000 series whatsoever. So I think Nvidia is going to take their time and release their Volta series in 2018 to take on Vega 2.0, which I think is the best possible scenario for AMD since they'll have a pretty comfortable time between now and December of this year to have their Vega lineup of GPUs kind of battle with Pascal for the moment. But anyways, that's my little video over the Vega and Volta lineup of GPUs that are going to come out in the next few coming months. It should be something very interesting to see, but for the most part, make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and all that, and this is the Scatterville TV channel, signing out.